Yes, 2.49. It is, 2.49 in the morning. And we're on the road. The road of rock. In the van of rock. Two. Two. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so we're, uh, we're going to our hotel tonight. Can't see it. Yeah, go and, on. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a bit dark. Yeah, you're a bit dark, um, darling. So we're to our hotel tonight. Uh, we're trying to get past Birmingham, because we're on to Carlisle. So yeah. the back of the trip is broken. I don't get in late, but it's okay. Uh, we're going to get there about 4 o'clock, and then we'll sleep. Breakfast up to 10.30, so it'll be all right. Yeah. And then we're off to Carlisle Rock and Blues Festival. Yeah, we're going to open the festival, which is so exciting. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, Nick Westgarth and all the guys up there are organising it. When I say uh, exciting, I mean, we're really, really excited about it. It's like, yeah. and we had such a brilliant gig tonight in the Half Moon and Putney. What a venue, and what a, an audience. Amazing, it, it was electric. And we had we had so many beautiful our family were there, we were friends, and Peter French came down from Atomic Rooster and we had Rick Lee, the drummer with Ten Years After. He was there and, and just so many of our supporters as well. Thank you everyone that turned up and we really, really appreciated it. It was our first gig in twenty months. And Woo! I was particularly excited because when I first started playing guitar Ten years after I bought, ten years after recording live, that was one of the albums that I listened to with Alvin Lee and everything. Yeah. And you know, he played at Woodstock and it was, it, it's on, oh. I'm a huge fan. And then of course, Peter French from Atomic Rooster, he was on in the hearing of Atomic Rooster, which is the first record I ever bought. Uh, which is, you know, first album, which is incredible. Yeah. It's actually happened there, you know. It was a real honour for us, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. We, we love that. And it's, it's music family, and you know what? The guys are really just dad with really caring guys. It was great. It was great. Yeah, it was really good. So we're very, very, very happy, um, and the adrenaline is keeping us awake. We stopped off for a coffee after we left as well. Wow. So uh, we're on our way, um, and thanks for sharing our adventures. So here we are in the middle of the night. The M40. The, I was going to ask you where are we? Is the M40? Two. 52. Two. Signing off for the Van of Rock 2. Go. Hello. Good afternoon. We are now heading towards Carlisle on the M6. And this is my one of my favourite bits of road in the whole country. I love this big hill here coming up. It's always, if it's cloudy, there's always clouds that, that sort of go over it, which have beautiful shadows. I just love it, you know. You come around the corner, it's really beautiful. It's so we're only uh, our, uh, 45 miles to Carlisle. Yeah. Um, sold out tonight, which is fantastic. Um, we're going to get the get the merch sorted out, get our uh, gear out, ready to go. Yeah, talk about gear as well. Everyone's loving our new outfits that we've been wearing. <laughs> White is the new black, and um, I'm a new ambassador for um, Veselin, who's a, a, a beautiful designer based in Bulgaria. And uh, he designed and made the outfit, for, for, uh, my particular outfit for me anyway. And uh, so you should check him out. He's really, really talented. Um, so yeah, we're very excited. And, you know, it's just so lovely to see everyone again though. I'm, we're so giddy. Oh, it's just so happy. And to have people in the room and share music. Well, look at that. Those hills. They look like sleeping dinosaurs, don't they? Yeah, beautiful. Great big elephants or something. Oh. I just love them. Way it's carved out with the, the, the water and the river looks oh, you know, Classic really. British countryside. Jeff Ailing should paint this. Jeff. Please come and paint this picture. Oh, Jeff, I'm... calling Jeff. Yeah, indeed. And we've got to say a big uh, shout out to Harry Andrews as well because um, we met Harry last night at the gig. He's such a great supporter. He bought the hoodie, the t shirt, the albums. Um, he's got a blueberry pie at home framed on his wall, he was telling us. And, He's such a beautiful man, and we like were sending off from the venue like 2:49 in the morning. We didn't get to our hotel till four o'clock, and he was just getting his last collection for his uh, replacement bus train service home uh, as we were on our way out as well. So at the same time, like that is proper, proper support. Thank you, Harry. Yeah, You're a man enough. of rock and roll, Indeed. and we love you. Proper rock and roll on a school night. Indeed, as well. a school rock. night. Yeah, so also we're going to be catching up hopefully with Roger Bucknell from File Guitars, who we are also ambassadors for. Uh, Roger's up in Carlisle, so uh, we 
got something exciting to talk about later about that. But he's, uh, we're going to be seeing him, uh, possibly, hopefully, tonight. I don't know, he might come. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so that's the whole, uh, the whole thing. I'm just saying hello as well. Yeah. Oh, hello. Ah. Hello. Oh, hello. Ooh. Oh, I just don't know why I did then. It's all right. Hello. Ah. So ah. that's the, is that great? I know. I just wanted to show you the scenery, really, because part of this road trip, because all our friends all over the world, you know, you get to see this. You get to see this beautiful countryside. So you get to see all the different architecture and share the journey with us. That's that's kind of what we're, we're doing as well. Well, this is what Cumbria is all about. It's magnificent. Yeah, Cumbria. Yeah, magnificent. Right, we're ready to go now. We were at sound check at five, and we're opening the festival, which is a huge honour for us because we're going to rock it out. So, get, get everyone going. Okay, we'll see you soon.